yo, 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 this is Bernard, aka The Scarlet Spider. Hey, um, can you hear me well? Because my mic is about a foot away from me. I can hear you. Okay. I just can't hear myself as loud unless, like, I put the mic, like, right here. That's that's way better, though. I don't know. Should I put my mic closer? Like this? Is that better? No, you, you still sound the same. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who you be? Oh, I am Samir, the King in Black. You cut me off. You want to know the whole spiel about your mic? I Go was just rhythm. asking because I sound faint. This is the rhythm of the night. Uh, do you think, since you want to fucking do that, do you think the streams on that song dropped in 2020? Uh, why, why would it drop in 2020? You don't know the name of the group? No. Google rhythm of the night real quick. I mean, it's a dope song from the 90s. But yeah, guys, we are the Angry Blurs podcast. Uh, the bars, yeah, all right, the bars. Okay, what about it? No, di- no, that's the eighties version. What's the? Go to Wikipedia. Corona. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're not from the eighties, is it? That's from the nineties, right? The bars yeah, they... is from the eighties. Oh, that's what. I yeah, think. that's yeah. So the song probably dropped in the nineties, though. I, I remember hearing it a lot in the Samir, 90s. Samir. Rhythm of the Night by The Barge is from the 80s. Corona's Rhythm of the oh, Night is from the right. 90s. Oh, Corona's from the 90s. Okay. So then what's okay, so the version that we all know is Corona. It's two different songs. They just have the same name, Samir. Yeah, but uh yeah? So what's this is the one we know? This is the rhythm oh, of the that's night. That's Corona. Then why are we talking about the barge? You brought up the barge, you Dumb idiot. Wow. Because that was the first thing that popped up. But you know the DeBarge um, Rhythm of the Night as well. But hey. All right. So, yeah, that's neither here nor there. All right. <clears throat> God damn it. She can't eat. Hey, um, how do you feel about rec- recording next Saturday? Uh, Recording what? The podcast. Next Saturday? Yes. What are you talking about? You want to cancel tonight's episode? No, you idiot. Next week's episode. God, bro, you. You know what? You said, how do you feel about recording next Saturday? What are you talking about? Next week's episode. Okay, we, we were doing next week's episode. What do you. That, that, was a, that was already decided. What? So what are you asking me? Instead of recording on Thursday next week, how do you feel about recording on Saturday? Okay, that that's you worded that so strangely. Okay, no, you, that's you, you received it strangely. Nah, I don't receive nothing. All right, <laughs> pause. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not true. I, I'm perfectly uh, secure, and I, I receive many things. Okay. Okay, but you gonna answer the question? <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't. I guess I don't care. All right, because uh, Ryan just texted me, so she can't do Thursday or Friday. She's uh, I guess she's streaming with the uh, Super Weep Showdown. Okay. So that's why I was asking. So, uh, also, depending on what time she gets done streaming. So, yeah, there's also that. All right. So, um, let's get into the first story since we've been talking for almost four minutes. Because Samir don't know how time works and stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the Jabari version? But yeah, so the Flash wrapped up uh, last week at this point. Why did my heart just start beating fast? Because you missed the Flash and you got PTSD from being a band or something? <laughs> I finished it, dude. No, um, I don't know. I'm cool now. <clears throat> but yeah, so... You know, in an age where, you know, Samir decides to back out uh, after 2019's Crisis on Infinite Earths. Oh, I mean, it was hard to talk. Yeah, so the ex- uh, Eric Wallace, who was the showrunner of The Flash, actually said he wanted to tackle uh, an arc that he titled The Forever War, which would have, uh, it was something that was supposed to be hinted at since like season seven. Uh, that Abracadabra actually referenced in that season. And they mm-hmm. also wanted to do Black as Night. 
So they kind of hinted on it by bringing Robbie Amell back as Ronnie <sighs> Raymond, and they did do Death Storm. But, uh, it would have been lame. Yeah, so bas- well, this is what I'm getting to. So this is the point of crossover. So basically what they would have done with this crossover is they would have actually had people uh, from Superman and Lois and Titans and also Stargirl. That's all they had left at that point? Um, I don't know. They could have also got in other people. Like, they also wanted to bring back Patty Spivitt, uh, who was in season two. And they also wanted to bring back Tom Felton as Julian Albert. Hello, Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was, look- I was looking at our, 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 our notes. Stories, yeah. Yes. Um, but, yeah. I mean, they could always bring back people to guest star for an episode. Like I told you, in season eight, they pretty much had brought back... Uh, uh, what the hell's the old girl's name? Um, Kate McNara, who played Oliver's um, daughter from the future, Mia. Uh, they brought back Brandon Ralph, and he had left Legends like a season before it ended. They brought back uh, Cryer Lee from Supergirl. Uh, uh, Nicole Mange was in this season of The Flash. Javicia Leslie. So people oh, always yeah, come I back saw, from the offs. I saw um, uh, Nicole Mange. Yeah, in a, in a screenshot. Yeah, so people could always come back just to like do that one episode. Stephen Amell came back for one episode because the multiverse was in danger. So, yeah. So if if we would have gotten the crossover, Samir, because we know you've only liked to watch these shows with the crossovers, but keep in mind the Flash is the last one standing. Would you have watched said crossover? Maybe it, it's. Huh, it's giving diminished returns at this point. So oh, really, yeah. Well, I would have liked it. Um, season ended on a very high note. It had a four part ending. Um, so yeah, I mean they brought back pretty much all the big bad. So uh, yeah, Barthon came back through Reverse Flash, Zoom, Savitar, and Godspeed. And I really want a Godspeed suit so bad, but. Oh, the wife? Yeah. Ever since I saw it in the comics, I'm like, that boy got some drip. (laughs) But, um, so yeah, I would have loved to see another crossover. But, unfortunately, it didn't happen. So, yes. R.I.P. to the Arrowverse, over 350-something hours of television, overall 55 seasons, and who knows? uh, Yes, from 2011 to 2023. It's everything combined. Uh, I mean, I, I guess it's done more good than than harm. So sure. yeah, I mean, you got to think, dude. So let's say we're we're gonna, we're gonna say before Smallville, because Smallville is basically what got people to realize, hey, we can actually do comic book shows and do them, you know, well or decent in your opinion. So we have Lois and Clark. <laughs> we had, we had um, birds, birds of prey. Of prey. We had the Flash Mutinex. in the nineties. Don't forget, don't forget. No, Mutinex. I'm not counting Mutant X because it technically was an X Men. It was his own thing. Yeah, but they had it was, it, it was inspired by X Men. Bro, they had like I'm trying to think. Hang on, I don't think anyone on Mutant X was an actual mutant from the X Men franchise. I think they were. Some of them were. Hang on, I'm gonna look at the cast and oh, the, uh, the characters. Hang on a second, Mutant X on the characters. All right, so yeah, okay. So uh, Emma Deloro, who the hell is that? All right, is a telepath. Exactly, that's she's that, not Emma Frost, like I said. But come on, no, dude, that's that's great value, X Men. It is. It, no, no, it, it is. So, I would so honestly, that's a, that's a disrespect to, to Walmart's brand to put this anywhere near the X Men. But okay, it was still but, but, but a Marvel you, property that but, they. Uh, but you can crap on. Costco, like every two episodes. I don't cr- crap on Costco. I love Costco, bro. I s- highly suggest you go back and listen to several episodes. I think the first time you did it was when we reviewed the Batman. And me calling Eric was like, "Yo, man, why you shitting on Costco?" I don't know what he's talking about. You don't gotta know what I'm talking about. There's audio evidence of it. You know what? See whatever Thank episode you. that was, because I, I now nah, we ain't have AI last year like that. Sounds like fake news. Can replicate your voice, but uh, so yeah, so like, dude, none of those characters actually uh, ever appeared in the Marvel X Men comic. Nope, we don't except Emma Deloro. 
No, we're not doing that. <laughs> With Doloro. Like, if you click on her page, does it say, hey, she's a mutant and she appeared in X Men issues, so on and so forth? Man, after that, I'm not or she, Or she that doesn't show. even have a. Um, she don't. It, Emma it, Deloro. Exactly. Yeah, like I said, it was created under a Marvel Comics license, but no connection to the Mutant X comic books. This was just something Avi Arad wanted to do. So, and like I said, Avi Arad is the guy who was basically responsible for keeping the lights on at Marvel. So, from like freaking the Iron Man cartoon and above and beyond. So, yeah. Um,. But yeah, it would have been nice to um, get this Blackest Night crossover. But it's over. So, Samir, what you got? Okay. All right. Uh, okay, that was your story. Yes, it was. All yeah, right, did you check out the Silent Hill Ascension trailer? No, because I'm not a fan of Silent Hill. <sighs> Don't do that. Do what? Don't do that. Do as exasperated side. Because I'm za- you. You're exhausting. How am I exhausting? Stay up on current events. I mean, did you know about the Blackest Night crossover before I posted it in the um, chat? In the uh, yes, stay in the up Arrowverse on current events. Yes, in the Arrowverse. Yes, I know, I, oh, I'm up on the current events. The Arrowverse is dead. You've seen that. So that's current. Years. That's what's happening right now. The fact that they could have had a, a watered down version of Black as Night doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so an interactive streaming series will allow the audience to decide how the story plays out and who survives. Oh, I did hear about that. Oh, okay. I just forgot what it was. All right. So they released a trailer for it. So it looks pretty interesting. I don't know how it's going to land, but I'm pretty excited. All right. And uh, also, um, good news for um, uh, PC players uh, on. Um, who want PlayStation games, we're getting uh, Ratchet and Clank ripped apart in uh, July. Don't you already have that game, though? I don't. If I did, I must have traded it in. I think you did trade it on. Because you got a bundle like me, so... I what, probably... What did your bundle come with besides Miles? No, your did your bundle even come with Miles? Yeah, your bundle came with Miles Morales, because I was like, bro, you got the game. Why are you waiting for the PC? Oh, I want to cheat. I didn't say that. I said I want mods. And you probably still haven't started it. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. I said what I said. What are you talking about X for? Your turn. All right. <clears throat> so, Rosa Salazar, who we all know from a little hit Netflix movie. Yo, called, I, was, I, I got such a crush on that lady. Called, called Bird Box. Uh, Bird Box? I literally said Netflix. She's, oh, yeah, she wasn't Bird Is that the one thing? I, I, I forgot she was in that. What, Bird Box? That's the only thing you know her from? Yeah. Oh, my God. Stop. I'm taking over. Okay. Besides Bird Box. I know she was in the lead of Battle Angel. Look at you about to have an aneurysm. Uh, 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 Amazon's Undone. Amazing series. Please go watch it. Uh, brand new cherry flavor on Netflix. Amazing series. The Please go brother. watch it. Oh, I mean, mediocre mediocre movie adaptation of a YA series. You can skip it. Bro, you be capping for Twilight, so don't even do that. I don't cap for Twilight. What are you talking about? You was excited that they announced that the TV series was being adapted. I'm interested, yeah. But make no mistakes. I don't stand Twilight. That shot is bonkers bad. I mean, it's actually funny. It actually, it's, Twilight's fan base is actually pretty interesting in terms of a... Of a um, of a movement of people, if that's the word I want to use. So but it's like you have a group of people who like a property, right? But they'll find new ways to criticize it and critique it at every angle. And it's interesting to see who, like, where they do and who they dig in on and what they, what they deconstruct. I mean, at this point, yeah, it's, it's, it's just known that so Stephanie Meyer. Myers is, a, is what? For starters, her name is Meyer. Quit adding what did I say? You said Myers. Quit adding, quit adding plurals to shit. And second, the point we're not is, doing it. no, we're not doing a deep dive into Twilight, okay? So you brought it up. I brought it up because I don't even remember why I brought it up. But yo, so Rosa Salazar is going to be in Captain America: New World Order. Yes, I'm excited. I can't wait to see who she's playing. 
Hopefully it's not some lame walk on roll like a secretary. She's probably Madam Hydra or something like that. That'd be or, cool. I mean, or Viper before Viper That'd be cool. became Madam Hydra. But um, yeah, so no details have been released on who she will be playing just yet. Uh, and this is still rumored, so I don't um, I, I don't think it's actually been confirmed by like Variety or anything like that. Oh yeah, it was. Um, Oh yeah, so yeah, they actually did confirm that Seth Rollins will be playing Diamondback. Okay, but but yeah, no 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 information on who she's playing. Like I said, she's probably going to be uh one of the other people in the Serpent uh, Serpent Society because she was actually uh, shot on set with Seth freaking Rollins. All right, <clears throat> so yeah, can't wait for it. Uh, hopefully. You know, Sam Wilson gets a win because everyone's always like, Falcon sucks. No, who's saying that still? Oh, my God, Samir. A lot of people. I mean, he did just kick T'Challa's ass in his book. See, Captain America symbol. Look, just, just because true. they give you wins don't mean uh, you, you're cool. So just because they give you a sword, that don't mean you're cool either. I'll tie the trunks. I mean, we we, we, just, we did just say that last week. It was like, give anybody a sword, they'll be cool. But not Listen, that. I'm sorry. Didn't Trunks get shot through the chest by Cell? No, Perfect Cell. Yes, okay. still got shot through the chest. That's a that's an okay L to take. Is it? Yeah, it's Perfect Cell. I don't know, man. He was he dude. He was clapping all their cheeks at once. Like, why you just got all right? My sounds so depraved. All right, so. Uh, Robert England uh, says he's done playing uh, Freddy Krueger. I know that makes Samir happy because he's like, he's old. I mean, I'm glad he realized. Okay, so I'm too old and thick now. I don't know why he said it like that. I'm too old and thick now. I can't do okay, fight scenes. Because he's wider. His metabolism has obviously slowed down. I can't do fight scenes for more than one take anymore. I've got a bad neck, bad back, arthritis in my right wrist. I have to hang it up. Uh, but I would love to cameo. So it's like there you go because I'm I'm curious because I mean I'm wondering if Indiana Jones and the in the Dial of Destiny so could do, have been good. Do you, do you know why he said this? I mean, because you just you just read like like clickbait. So I didn't read clickbait. Like I said, you got to cite sources sometimes, dude. So this was actually part of a documentary. Um, that's coming out. Uh, it's called Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares, the Robin England story. So it will actually be coming out on June 6th. So, so this is going to be talking about every film that he's done. So from the Nightmare on Elm Street films to the Mangler. Um, well, the guy's been, yeah, he's been in a lot of horror movies. Uh, he's been in Hollywood for 50 years. So don't just say horror movies. Shoot, he just did an episode of the Goldbergs a few years ago as Freddy Krueger. Did you know everything is. That, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much the same thing. I know, but. He's been on Chips, uh, Walking Tall, Heart to Heart, uh, Star. My guy, it's easier to name. Okay, it's easier to name the movies that aren't horror movies in his filmography. I was just saying TV shows, Walker. Right, Texas but Ranger. I'm like, I can name. There's so many horror movies on his I know. filmography. I know, because that's okay. He was typecasted, unfortunately. So yeah, right. So to say that to say, oh, he's been other stuff. It's not really saying much because I mean, he's been in so many things that that are in that genre. Uh, I get it. Um, outside of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, what is the one movie you know him from? Mm, I mean, I guess Lake Placid. Yeah, but you no, I didn't that. see. I didn't see this Lake Placid. That's the final chapter. Never mind. I was gonna say, but I, I ain't watched that. So for me, it's the Mangler. I don't know if you remember the Mangler. Oh, I did see Hatchet. But I don't know if you remember the Mangler, but it was a movie about a dry cleaning business, and like the Mangler is like the thing that they run the clothes through or whatever. I guess it like uh-huh. kind of presses it, and it was like possessed or something. He was the guy who like owned the company. But yeah, so that's the yeah. only movie I know him from outside of the obviously Freddy franchise. I feel I, like well, he was in something but- else I saw more recently. But like he was just there, just like to have fun. All right. Well, I did see him in Hatchet. That's one movie I can say I saw, man. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at his filmography. I'm trying to remember what it was. It wasn't an Urban Legend. 
Why do I feel like he was in a Final Destination, but he wasn't? I know that's Tony Todd, but still. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Shout out to. Uh, oh, he was in. Um, he was in V. You know V, the Alien show. Yeah, that came out in the in the two thousand knots, two thousand knots, and got canceled. The original one, you idiot. Oh, the original one. No, I didn't watch the original one. Yeah, I mean, it's very dated. I watched it after the uh, the reboot got canceled or reimagining or whatever. But yeah, so <clears throat> he actually, you know, talked about the remake and how he felt about Jackie Earl Haley taking over the role. And he said Jackie was just so good. He was a wonderful actor. But, you know, obviously that movie didn't make a lot of money because it wasn't good. It was good. It's just it didn't have the same oomph that the original Sounds Nightmare like on it wasn't Street. good then. Well, no. The problem is, okay, we, we've gone over this before about how technology advances and everything. But sometimes you just need to stick with the basics. They put CG on them for the scarves and stuff as opposed to like a latex mask that was form-fitted. Yeah, but there was other things wrong with that movie. That was, that was my major issue with it. Um, I don't really remember that much about it, but I'm probably going to go back and I was actually going to rewatch all the original films like a while ago. I had them downloaded then. Um, I don't remember what happened, but I had to re-download them. But yeah, so um, yeah, I would love to see Robert England just like do a cameo in something. But yeah, man. Alright, so we also have to give a happy birthday to Tom Holland, so by the time you guys are hearing this, it will be belated because Tom Holland's birthday is June 1st, and he is 27 years old. And it's nice to know that him and Zendaya are still going strong. Oh, yeah. How long have you been dating? Officially or unofficially? I guess officially. So sometime after Far From Home? <laughs> That's funny. And unofficially uh, Homecoming? They were just able to keep it on the wraps till the paparazzi called them making out in the car. I mean, that's that's some bull right there. You can't make out a dang car. Shoot, paparazzi, they just I hate them, bro. You heard what they're doing to uh, Garcelle Bouvois? Who? What? So you know who Garcelle Bouvois is, right? The lady from Precious. Oh, brother! That's Gabrielle Sidibe. Oh, okay. Fancy from the Jamie Foxx show. She was also in Spider-Man Homecoming. She played Liz's mom. All right, go on. So uh, she posted some photos that a paparazzi took. And now the paparazzi is suing her. Because she posted the photos without his permission. Is that legal? Uh, it actually is. As a photographer, once you photograph something. Even if I'm the subject? Yes, even if you're the subject, it is now the photographer's copyright. That actually just happened with Cameron as well. Like he, um, it was like an old photo from like the early two thousands. I think. Man, I whooped that puff off his ass. But with Cameron, it was actually a photo shoot. So I think he like had it was like one of the first photos he took with like the pink fur coat on, and he had like a beaver or something like that. And he was like putting on shirts, and he didn't get the uh, photographer's consent. So yeah, I might have to start uh, sending out cease and desist to people who screenshot my photos. Hi, Auntie Gina. All right, so don't shake your head at me. In a world where people are still racist, How to Train Your Dragon, the live action remake, has gotten two cast announcements. So Mason Thames and Nico Parker will star as Hiccup and Astrid. I think she'll be adorable. Yeah, but here's the problem though. People are like, she's not white. Neither is the voice actress who did the voice of Astrid. You ain't have a problem with Ugly Betty being Astrid, did you? Oh, that was... Um... Yes, America Ferrera. So, so yeah, people... Boy, man, ever since that orange guy got in the office, the racism has become less and less covert. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not in the open now. It's overt. Yeah, that's why I said less covert, more overt. But, so, yeah. So, I think we actually talked about this being um, greenlit a while ago. So yeah, Dean Dean De Blois? D-E-B-L-O-I the the Blois? 
I guess Dean DeBlois will actually be directing Never Heard of the Man before, and it has a release date of March 14th, 2025. So um, for those of you who have no idea who Mason Thames is, he was in uh, The Black Phone with Ethan Hawke, and Nico Parker is the daughter of Danny Newton and somebody else, and she was Sarah in The Last of Us. Samir, because you know you all about the remakes and whatnot, how do you feel about that? I mean, it's a bit early, but I'm yeah. I'm tentatively I interested because the first one came out in what 2009, 2010. Yeah, 2010. Yeah, it's like, bro, can people just like slow down on the remakes? That's why I'm like, why is Disney doing a Moana remake, bro? You got so much stuff in like the Disney re- Renaissance vault. I mean, if you don't want to touch CG animals again, I would understand that, but they're doing a Mufasa movie. But I mean, still, even if I mean, you got the Black Cauldron. Give me some more. Um, we don't the Black Cauldron. But that, that 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 movie is does not need to be. I mean, you'll have to. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen the Black Cauldron. Honestly, it's not good. I mean, you got the Sword and the Stone. Um, give me some more Disney animated movies that involve like people and not talking animals. Tarzan. I mean, why you hate? Why you hate nature? No, I'm saying. I'm saying because. Like you said, everyone's problem with the Lion King animals can't show emotion. Yeah, but Rocket Raccoon did, and he doesn't have a human face. Just do it better. Okay, but that's the that's the, that's the Marvel side of that. You know, I don't think they're gonna go scoop up some Marvel animators. And that's not the point. Do it better. Other people can do it like, just fine. Like, hey, we need the guy who did the raccoon. But yeah, so guys, be on the lookout for the How to Drink a Dragon remake. Uh, Samir. All right, Robert Eggers' um, Nosferatu has wrapped filming. Starring Lily Rose Depp, Bill Skarsgård, and Nicholas Holt, Willem Dafoe, uh, Emma Curran, and uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a modern remake. Uh, funny, another remake. Modern remake of the classic 19th century um, film Nosferatu. You know, the, the gothic tale of obsession between a, a woman and um, the vampire count orlek so can't wait i also want to see how they're going to modernize this story for my uh, for for you know current audiences because the other one doesn't hold up i'm sorry i know that's film uh blasphemy there but the i, I watched the film a, a bunch of years ago and i'm like as a film study it, it's interesting but as entertainment it, it doesn't hold up and i want to see how they're going to translate that so it can actually um stand you know stand up to modern films so here's my question so do we know for a fact that this is going to be a modern day retelling or is it still going to take place in the 19th century or is it going to be it on, can... or is it going to be some uh Bazarin's Romeo and Juliet shit where it takes place in the modern day still got old school dialogue Probably a, little, probably a few guns in there. I'm up for any of them because I like the idea of calling guns swords. I was like, bro. I mean, and I never even watched the movie. I was talking to local about Blast me. Cause, bro, not really a Leonardo DiCaprio fan. What? Why? What did he ever do to you? Nothing, but I'm just like, I'm cool. What about Claire Danes? You got a problem with her? You hate John Leguizamo. I don't hate what? John Leguizamo. Why, see, why would you do that? Oh, what about other buddy who played Mercutio? Um, what was his name? Don't look at me. I don't know who's in the movie. I just know I, who's I, I hang on because you you actually like this guy. Hang on, I, I'm trying to remember this guy's name. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Harold um Perinu per- per- Really? Why do you think I like Harold Perinu? Nigga, I didn't watch Lost. Uh-huh. You've been to other stuff you've I've seen. I've seen that man in two things to the best of my recollection. You like the best man. Okay, three things, because I forgot he was in the best man for a minute. So the He's best in the rookie. Man, I was gonna say the rookie. He did. <laughs> in um in the Matrix. That's all I got. Best man holiday. I'm talking about franchises. So I usually gonna name the next movie. <laughs> What you gonna say? The best man, the best man holiday, the best man, the final job. Wasn't Constantine apparently? The show or the movie? The show. See, no I movie. forgot that was in there. That the Arrowverse. They, they, that was. I should have been one that actually survived. 
hey, they wrapped up Constantine's story for like a good five, six years because he showed up on Arrow, then he was on Legends for the longest. So they tied up all the loose ends from that show. Like hell, he even he even got Astra back, but it was too late. So she was an actual uh, she was an adult by the time he got her out of hell. Sorry, anyways. Oh yeah, he was in Sons of, he's been Sons of, but you don't watch the show, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, I mean, fuck motorcycles. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it's like, hey man, you watch Mayans? <laughs> anyways, we got our subject. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so I don't know how you have a, a beef against an actor who has a career, a career that spans. Th- oh my god, just because, bro, I didn't say I hate Leonardo DiCaprio. I said I didn't. I never said I didn't like Leonardo DiCaprio. I just said I just don't really rock with his movies like that. I've seen. A yeah, but he didn't there. write. He didn't write Baz Luhrmann's uh, Romeo and Juliet. Baz Luhrmann wrote it. No one ever said he did. Okay, and he. You and should have beef with Baz Luhrmann then. Once again, and, Samir, just because I didn't watch Romeo and Juliet, that doesn't mean I hate Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, but your, your comment was weird. You said, I don't ever with Leonardo DiCaprio like that. I, that's a weird thing to take. That's okay, look, to I've, seen, I've seen a few Leonardo DiCaprio movies, okay? Every, I'm not going to watch every single one, okay? I you saw, know, no one asked you to. I said, yo, uh, Romeo and Juliet is a classic. And I said, I'm good. No, you're not. Samir, I don't want to watch a Shakespeare film adapted into the 20th century and people are calling guns swords. And now Loco's going to... You sound straight churlish right now. <laughs> and now Loco's going to call me and be like, yo, what's wrong with Romeo and Juliet? It, it's a good question. It's, it's a valid question. I never said anything was wrong with it. It just wasn't for me. Why is that so hard for you to understand? Samir, I don't have to like everything you like. You, you don't, don't like have everything to, you I don't like. Have to like it. But articulate your grievances and just. I don't have just any me. grievances. I just saw the trailer and I'm like, nah, I'm cool on this. That's that's worst chance they have. Okay, it's mine. Let me live with that. All right. Speaking of living with things, The Rock is coming back to the Fast and Furious franchise, and it looks with like his he's going tail to tail between his muscular legs. <laughs> and it, <laughs> really, dude. Okay, you, I might have to make this a clip now. Gonna get a DM. Hey, brother, I need to talk to you. <laughs> you get your ass beat by a a fifty something year old Samoan. If he can catch me, I don't know. The rock looks like he can run. Yeah, but I could definitely outrun you. I'm just trip you and keep Samir, going. I, like ain't got no, I ain't got no issues with the rock outside of Black Adam. Okay, so uh-huh. that's between nah, you. son. That's you between talking, you. You talking mad shit? That's between you and him. Okay, so nah, that's not how that worked, man. Bitch, we are not the Fast and Furious franchise. Ain't no family over here. That ain't how that works. You, you, if, if your boy is talking, I'm on the podcast with you. I'm one half of the English Blurs. I'm talking mad trash, and you over there co-signing me. That's not we both get that as well. I'm not All co-signing right? you, okay? Because I'm going off the rail on a few things, and you've literally hopped on this mic and said the views and expressions of Bernard do not reflect Angry Blurs or Samir as an individual. Yeah, because you'd be saying some out of pocket stuff. Exactly. You saying some out of pocket stuff to someone. I'm not saying it. He is, he's returning. He's returning to a series that he said he was better than. Okay. He never and now said he's that. not. He, he never did. Said. No, he did. He did. He said he was done. He said it's high school. He says it's like I'm over that. I'm I'm I've grown past it. He's implied it. I'm trying. I can't remember the the the, the post he did, but I implied he, they implied it. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's it's so old now. I mean, I don't even think I could find it like on news because, like, hold on, let me jump all the way to page ten. Oh my god! See, even page ten is like more recent stuff. Let me go to page nineteen on Google. Three weeks ago, yep. So yep, page twenty eight. All right, all right. Nope, that's about fast nine. Just type in The Rock leaving Fast and Furious, and get, he'll pull the article and what he said. I know he was he was complaining about um, about it. Great, two weeks ago, one week ago, uh, the history between Tyrese and The Rock. Yeah, dude, forget it at this point. Because well, yeah, whatever. Yeah, because um, even um, Tyrese was um. Beefing with the rock because he left. Yeah, well, Tyrese brought it out. That's why. 
But so yeah, he he basically spoke out about you know Ben Diesel showing up the late late to set and everything just because he's a producer. He didn't say Ben di directly, but it was heavily implied. And then he ended with like candy ass. Then he um, deleted the post. I mean, I screenshotted that a long time ago. I don't got it anymore. But yeah. So like I said last week, guys, he actually showed up in the mid credits trailer because this is basically. Like I said, uh, X ended on some Infinity War stuff. And so uh, he made a post. He said, hope you got your fun to wear on. Hobbs is back. And he just got laid. Um, he spelled it L-E-I, apostrophe D, like Hawaiian laid. All right. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah. So he said, your reaction to, around the world to Hobbs' return and Fast X have blown us away. The next Fast and, Fu Fast and Furious film will see the legendary lawman. You'll see the legend ah, you'll see the legendary lawman in will be the Hobbs movie that will serve as a fresh new chapter and set up for Fast X Part Two. Last summer, Ben and I put all the past behind us. We'll leave with brotherhood and resolve. And we'll take care of the franchise characters and fans that we love. I built my career on an audience first mentality, and that will always serve as my North Star. Congratulations to the Fast family and Universal Studios on the global success of the Fast X and Always Hobbs and Seven Bucks Productions are motivated to help the Fast franchise to new and exciting places for fans worldwide. So, what you got to say to that? I mean, I mean, you know about opinion about that whole franchise right now. I, I, I've outgrown it. All right. So it's just funny to see him go back to it. Yeah, like I said, I, I have to see how this ends, okay? So it looks like we're getting a, a, a Hobbs movie in between. X in X part two? I guess. Yeah, because he said the Hobbs movie will serve as a fresh new chapter and set up for Fast X part two. What's crazy is like, what is, I wonder what it's like on that set. Like, yo, this dude walked off, flipped everyone the bird, and broke out. And I had to come back and say, you know, it's like it's like you ever probably quit from a job, no. and and like you have to come I, back. I already know what you're saying, but no, I've never done that. I've quit a job. So, and I've never had to go back. Can you imagine quitting a job and telling everyone to kiss your ass and you have to come back and like? I mean, he explained why he left. They worked things out, and hopefully, you know, things will be different this time around. You, you, you know what? The worst thing, you know, the best thing that you could have picked was like a bad relationship. He said, fuck you. I'm dumping your ass. Get the fuck out my house. Hey, baby, I'm sorry, man. Can we just make up and just watch some TV? That's what that was. But yeah, so uh, Fast X Part 2 is supposed to be coming out in 2025. So that means this new Hobbs movie will be coming out sometime next year or the beginning of 2025. Who knows? I wonder if it's just going to be Hobbs by himself because Shaw is kind of busy at the moment. Um, hey, maybe Vanessa Kirby can come back. Of course you want Vanessa Kirby to come back. You didn't even watch Hobbs and Shaw. That ain't the point. I, I, I want to watch it for her. <laughs> I can eat my movies anywhere, log in, so you can watch it. Uh, I can get that movie anywhere. So. Or, you know, I mean, matey. me giving you a login is... Why are you always trying to pirate stuff, bro? I who said pirate? How you gonna get it then? Uh, I will borrow it, the Blu-ray from my friend uh, John Jacob Jingle Heiner Schmidt. Shut the fuck up! I hate All right, that. you know it's funny because his name is my name too. Hey, man, you corny. His name is Samir Shahid. And, you know, sometimes when I go out, people Shut, do oh, shout. What's your next story, man? Where's your... <laughs> uh, you know, get your Miss Marvel stuff off, right? No, no, because that's a, that's a, that's a cap. That's an end cap. We're gonna no, end the, the podcast. Cap is your review of the Little Mermaid? I mean, it's not. That's not gonna be that much because I don't have to play it. But I can play. We can play off this with. Uh, I can do the review of Little Mermaid right now. Samir, it makes no sense to do a movie review at the like halfway through the episode because then I'm gonna have to listen to this, play it back, and put timestamps in. So that's why we always do the review. The movie but this review is a, all right. Well, all right. It's gonna be a while. We're not gonna okay. have any time for. Go, go ahead. All right, so okay, this is the Angle Blur's uh, uh, opinion, I guess. This our is opinions, Samir's opinions. No, our opinions, because you need to have one uh, mm -hmm. about Spider Man Twenty Six. So keep in mind, Samir didn't read the book. He's just going off the internet, and he read a few bad. Yeah, right, right. So let me know. So Bernard, you are the let me know where I'm wrong. 
about this situation. Please correct me and then tell me wh- how this is not as shitty as it seems. Okay. Please be the be the, be the advocate. Okay. I right. t- I'm just. I don't want to talk about this four weeks in a row. It, it's not four weeks. This happened. It, the 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 Come issue here. dropped yesterday. I get that, but we've been talking about this happening. But now we have the panels. Now we have the situation. Now we have how they did my girl dirty. They you don't you don't okay so all right you ain't read alert, the, Ma- the magnificent Miss Marvel so my, my Spo- yeah I did spoiler alert um uh yeah they killed Kamala Khan in uh issue twenty six of Spider Man and um that came out this uh past uh Wednesday yesterday as of recording. And uh, yeah, it was disrespectful. In 2023, they used a person of color to further the storylines of two white people. Is that am I incorrect? Okay, so here's my question for you. Yeah, where, where was this energy when Robbie Reyes died earlier this year? He he died. Yeah. Where and when? Avengers. Okay, he died on Avengers. Was he on the team currently? Yes. So he was on the team currently. Surrounded by his teammates and his friends, right? Not his brother. Did he go out like a hero? Yes. And okay, so they say true to his character. Yes. Okay, then. so he got a he got a respectful, honorable death. She didn't get that. Okay, go ahead because let's see where you're going because I don't know. All right. What so seen. if you if you know if you read anything about Miss Marvel, she does not like shape shifting. Okay, it was traumatic for her. All right, it was she was in a different headspace when she did it the first um couple times. She doesn't like doing it. She said so in the champions and in her own book subsequently after that. All right? The fact that she did it says a lot. Also, I don't even remember her saying that. It, it's in, you can you can find it. It's in there. It, it's in the books. Also, why weren't any of her friends on scene? They killed the character who has a vast swath of allies, okay? And they, none of them were around. Nobody in that book was attached to her. Okay. Every also the the artist did such a poor job of drawing everyone's faces. Everyone looked okay. bored. All right. So for starters, you're not going to disrespect John Romita Jr. like that. Like the man. Has so a everyone didn't look bored. No, they I looked, saw the panel. They look bored. They, they look somber and sad. They look bored. Maybe you need to look at some like full resolution. Um, I looked at it. They look bored, but that's that's suggestive. Boredom can be suggestive. We don't know, so I'll give that pass. All right, but the point is, the Fantastic Four don't know this, don't know barely anything about that girl, barely. Okay, and and Mary Jane don't even know her, so she died for someone who knows she don't even know. I get a hero, but come on, I was gonna say that's what a hero does. Yeah, sure. All right, so the Fantastic Four don't know nothing about it. Peter barely spending time with Miss Marvel wasn't around. Uh, Sam wasn't there. Miles wasn't, but they, Miles was hanging low hanging fruit. He know Peter. He could have been on scene. They're best friends. Why wasn't Why wasn't her family? The whole state of New Jersey. This This woman is this defender of an entire state almost. All right, that whole city loves her. Okay, who said this took place in Jersey? Exactly. Oscar they checked in New York. She's they did her during, at the Oscar. idea. The idea that they wiped out all her development. Okay. Also, I didn't like the last, those last words. She over here asking, "Did I do good, Peter? How does she not know that? That girl is a veteran hero at this point. She doesn't need outside validation anymore. She got that in her own book. All right. She she went through her whole fangirl stage. She got on equal footing with Carol Danvers. All right. She went from she went from starstruck fan to protege to equal footing friend with that woman with goddamn Captain Marvel. She don't need." Spider-Man's pre-approval. Why does she ask for it on, on, on her deathbed? That man knows nothing about um, Miss Marvel. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Explain. They've teamed up in several books before, and she's fans. No, over her I'm not book. saying. I'm not saying Peter doesn't know. Zeb Wells doesn't know anything about her. Oh God. I know Peter knows her, but he 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 has exercised that he only knows a cursory knowledge of that character. And he just yoked her up just so they could kill her off and they resurrect her and fall. And they couldn't, now mind you, fine. Kill her off for, for, for shitty marketing purposes and bad writing. But do it better, okay? And don't do it for these two lamos, all right? Peter's a goddamn loser and we're tired of Mary Jane. No, I mean, do people even like her anymore? Yes. Do they, though? Yes. Honestly, I, I think she's holding them back. Just They should have killed her off. I think this arc should have been her last, in my opinion. 
but that also would have brought about the end of the world. That's why she shaped shifted into Mary Jane. I get it. It's dumb. The whole thing is dumb. The whole the whole tell me this. Now that we know the now that we know the whole thing, what has changed about like where is he now? Where is he gonna go? Like if this if this this arc is wrapping up, this whole run. You're, you're you're literally asking me, where is he gonna go? Once again, I don't work for Marvel. You want you want me to send a tweet out to Zeb Wells and say, hey, uh, we would love to have you on the podcast so you can chew him out. So, you know, whoever we get on here with some type of notoriety says, oh, no, he's going to tweet out. Oh, no, never go on the Angry Blurs podcast. That bald one is an asshole. <laughs> I'd be a hero because everyone hates Zeb Wells right now. Especially after what he did to Kamala. So, as a fan who who is re- who's read uh, Miss Marvel solo book, and of someone who reads um, Peter Parker, all right, who has seen other characters die in better ways, do you think that was a respectful way to kill a character, a a, a very popular character? I mean, like I said, I didn't have a problem with it because she died defending someone, bro. Yeah, she went in a whole coma for a year defending people. I know. People tend to forget about that. It's like, yo, where was the anger then? I get it. She didn't die, but she was. She was, Kamala Khan was out the game for like almost a year. And no one was saying, where's Ms. Marvel? Where's Ms. Marvel? I'm just saying we had Kamala's out here and basically Civil War, I mean, yeah, Civil War Junior, where, you know, kids had to register on, what was the, what was the book? What was the book? What was the book? Um, Cloud Nine. What was the book? The Initiative. Oh, Initiative, yeah. <laughs> it was on some initiative stuff. Except, guess what? They weren't training you. They were detaining you. I recall that. Yeah, I recall that run. I didn't read all of it, but I recall that run. Yeah, and that's where the champion started because she got out the coma. Well, was that where the champion started? No, that's not. No, that was after the second champion's book. Yeah. Yes, the second champion's book t- took place after that. But it's like, bro, it's like, what What do people want? She she literally... They want respect to a POC that, 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 that's been... That's been Important to a lot of people in terms of representation. And once again, and, those people weren't there. I told you, Miles. And they was, made her a footnote in these two white people, is what I'm saying. And again, obviously, it sounds like I'm, I'm challenging Dr. Umar right now. But no, I don't have a problem. Bro, if you, I had, hair, don't have, if, if you had hair on your head and you didn't wear glasses, you could be my guy. Right now. It's so like, in 2023, you take a character who had no business being in that book, okay? You can, Samir, I get it. She Samir, was an intern. Samir, he wrote Samir, her in there. Samir. People get written in the books all the time. That's how we got a new Falcon. Uh, freaking, I can't even remember the dude's name. He yeah, got, the, the bird guy. Yeah, he got. Where is he right now? He's in Sam's book as the freaking Falcon. Man, I, I got also seems kind of lame. See, there you go. It's just like, bro, you you pick and choose. I don't pick and choose. I can say I don't like a character. He's he, the guy's kind of lame. Look, the point you is, you never even read right? a book with him, and you're like, oh, he got bird. I, I, I read his debut. Him. No, you didn't. You a fucking liar. You know because you. Yeah, never, I did. I read his debut. No, you didn't. You know how I know you didn't? Because you don't read Captain America books. He debuted when Sam became Captain America. I so know. Stop the cap. I'm not stopping the cap. I'm not capping. I did read the debut. You Captain America right now? Whatever. Look, I don't see how you. I don't see how you can sit there and tell me that that's Samir, a good way to Samir, treat that character. Samir, all I'm saying is. We'll see how the story plays out, but no, people just want to be quick. There's no, there's no, the optics for this is bad. There's no way to, to see where this plays out. All right, she's dead. He killed. Let's say gonna resurrect her on the spot. She's dead. Look, and the way and why they killed her and how they did it is shitty writing. Look once again, we need to quit blaming the writers. Okay. We oh, you're right. It might not be so, bro. I'm gonna give him pass. It may be editorial. The editorial team. I told you this weeks ago. Stop blaming the writer, okay? Editors are there. So the editors Look, probably said, hey, um, so when you wrap up this, this long-standing arc, you have to kill Kamala, okay? You have to figure out a way to kill Kamala Khan. All right, so if that's how it happened, then I'm going to give it a pass. I don't the know The problem that's is how it I, I've been criticizing Marvel for the longest. You can, quote, you, you can go look back on uh, previous episodes. I've been criticizing their have treatment you? of Peter Parker for the longest, oh, all right? Okay. This this man is. A, I'm sorry. You can't tell me anything other than him being a loser at this point. All right, the guy is a walking L. Okay, a walking L. All right, and, and I don't know how you still read it. All right, this whole time the, the kids don't exist. None of this mattered. All right, and it's like, and then Paul's another version of the thing they they trying to stop, and it, it's just dumb. I'm sorry, it is. And then they kill Kamala on top of all this nonsense. 
They all this all this bad writing killed Kamala Khan. Okay. It's not like I don't mind, I don't mind character death. Kill a character, fine. But when you do it, make it make it mean something. And it, it, her death felt like it meant nothing. That's why people are mad. That's why everybody's mad. I haven't heard any single person say something positive about that issue. Look, I highly suggest you go and read Amazing Spider-Man 1 through 26. I know you're not because I've been trying to get you to read comics for like the past two years. and you just I've been reading them. What the hell have you been reading? What the hell have been reading? I'm reading the comics. Like? Well, I've been, I've been catching up on X-Men. Have you? Yeah, I'm starting. Yes. The point is, I won't be touching Spider Man with a ten foot pole, though. That's for damn sure. Exactly. So, but show me why, though. It's like, is he going to be any different from what he was a few years ago? He's going to be broke. He's going to be desperate. Okay, that's those are his those are his normal. All right, that gets boring to read all the time. Sir Peter has a very lucrative job at Oscorp. Hence the yeah, where he met Kamala. Okay, until it's not. So what you think Norman's finally going to And it's like and that's another thing. He can't ever when he was working with Parker Industries, he didn't have a good support base from his fan, from his um from his friends and colleagues. That's another thing. It's like he, he can't even have you talking about. Yes he did. MJ was there, Aunt May was there. Um, I'm talking about I'm talking about the community as a whole. Like he was he was on the Avengers, I think. No, he wasn't. It, Oh yeah, you're right. Because because uh, because uh, Peter hasn't been on the Avengers Otto. since Otto. Yeah, because exactly. Otto screwed up everything. Right. So he can't ever have a lucrative career and a good superhero career. It always has to be either or. No, no, like, no. He, he can have a good superhero career. All his friends, all his friends hate him right now. Did he repair his friend, his friendships? Does Captain America still hate him? What about the Fantastic Four? They were in that book. What's 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 the, what's the standing with them? They obviously made up because they were in that book. Okay. Because they realized what was going on. It was like, oh yeah, you know. Water under the bridge at this point. You would know that if you actually read the book as opposed to looking at a few badly scanned panels on Reddit. No, they were high definition. Stop it. But, like I said, this is coming from a bunch of people who didn't even bother to read the book. A lot of people read that book. A lot of people read that run. All right? And you, you say just because they read the run, it makes it look better. But it doesn't no, seem to. I'm saying the run isn't done. Like I told you what Dan Slot said. Wait for the run to finish and see where things go. If you still hate I don't see that. how you can fix Kamala's death like that. Okay, it looks Samira. bad. Samira. She had no business dying there. So I'm so, not even talking about at this point, I'm not even talking about the run. It looks bad killing her there. All right? It looks disrespectful. And I'm sorry, killing the POC in 2023 to for as a footnote in a in another character's um uh a storyline, a white character is giving early two thousands. It's like it's like kill your blacks, kill your gays uh trope. That's what it looks like, and that's what people are calling it out for. Yeah, and those people are just super radical for no reason whatsoever. It's just Is like, it? It sounds like they're killing a PLC to further those storylines for those characters. Why? No, they killed her, so like you said, so they can resurrect her on Krakoa with new powers. How do you give her an XG? Like, yeah, exactly. What? Samir, Samir, here's the question. So we already knew this was coming. The writing was on the wall when we saw the show last year. We were just waiting when, okay, bro. It's like okay, no, 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 no. Because I'm I'm shutting I'm all not... this down right now because people not, need to understand. Like a lot of times, Marvel or DC, they will run their characters parallel to their live action counterparts. We get so, that. That's fine. Look, we understand that they're no, killing her for the series. All yeah, right, we I know that. it's 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 shitty. We I always said it's shitty. And it's bad that. writing. But I'm just saying they could have transitioned her better. How does a Cree? Or uh, I'm sorry. How does an inhuman with Cree DNA get 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 shot to Karkoa and get next gene? It doesn't make any sense. She don't have Cree DNA. What are you talking about? She has. She's inhuman. Inhumans are, 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 are um. Oh yeah, that's right. They're they're both from Cree. They're 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 all she's from Cree. They're, or he they're said, made by the Cree. They're made by the Cree. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that her attachments are oh, to the Cree. See, see, that's. Oh wait, no, wait, no, no. Can I have it? Have no. what? No, no, never mind. Uh, Eternals are uh, related to mutants. That's what yeah. it was. <laughs> I was like, I was like, aha! <laughs> nope, it was Eternals, not any. No, yeah, because the Kree, yeah, the mixed up. That's why. That's why the. That's why Black Bolt was running the Kree slash um, uh, Shi'ar Empire for a little second, because they have ties to that that yeah. those people. Yeah, and it's like, and she was running around, and she has 
long issues and arts running around with the with the inhuman royal family. Yeah. That- See, if anything, that's the issue you should be mad. Don't be mad that she's a POC being killed. Yeah, I No, get it. I can no, be mad no. at both things. Samir? Yes, Bernard, my friend, like my brother in arms. Ain't no brothers in arms because, like I said, when the rock runs you down, you on your own. Oh wow! You see, all right, wow! You see this, Bernard? Apparently, ain't been watching Fast and Furious. He doesn't know the meaning of family. Apparently, hey, hey. yo. Sometimes when you hit the streets, the streets hit back. Also, uh, excuse me, but you know full well I'm gonna trip you. So I don't know. I ain't getting caught. I ain't like, getting caught. He over there. I'm like, over there. I ain't get. I ain't getting caught. He's over there, Dwayne. You can get him. I can like. He can't whoop both our asses at once. <laughs> you keep on saying it's both, and we we are not a symbiote. We are not joined at the hip, sir. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna be gone. All right. What was I saying? Yeah. Okay. Look. So, but, the, I, but, but yes, I get why people are mad, but they're mainly mad because of the fact that Disney. Well, that Marvel killed her. They're all. not mad about that. They're mad about how they did it. I, it's it okay. could be dumb, but at least they could have to- gave her some respect to her death. Like this is her first character okay. death. Okay, Samir, Samir, how how does one get character respect as a death? Because the only two that I can think of are both Peter Parker, and the other when he died and basically came back as oh, I can think of tons of respectful deaths. Hold on, let me comics. Comics. let me get this off. When he died and came back as that weird spider hybrid to save MJ and died in her arms. And then in the Ultimate Universe, where Peter jumped in the way of a bullet to save Captain America, webbed himself up, went home, fought Norman Osborn till he died. Because the journal yeah. was out. So, I mean, what what do you want her to do? Look, they, there's tons of ways they can kill a character. Like, let's say, for instance, Nightcrawler, when he died in um in Second Coming. I don't right? know. Oh yeah, he he he. Bastion put his Bastion put his um hand through his chest, right? No, he now, teleported into his hand. Right, that's what happened. That was a good death. The guy jumps in, protecting an innocent. All right, says a, a religious scripture while doing it. Teleports out, dies un- around his family. Okay, and then of course he went to hell and came back. But the point is, that was a Once good death. Again, it's like yo. Then you have to write the what's like. Why is Kamala's family in New York? Uh, like I that's said, not the point. Like Look, said, they like, could have been they could have been touring the, uh, her internship. It's not hard to write this shit. Samir, yeah, in the middle of, in the middle of basically, uh, what if the crisis happened and her parents were already on site touring the facility? The point is, yeah. he could he could write her as an intern for some reason. He could write that her friends are there. Miles could have been there. Miles is the goddamn superhero in New York. He could have been swinging by. Hell, Peter could have called him in for support. Why didn't he Peter call him for help? Samir. Peter and Miles don't really interact that much. Why? Because he pissed them off too. No, they just don't. They haven't That's done, the, bro. They haven't done that since like the beginning of Nick Spencer's run, which was like four years ago. The point is, they could have found reasons to get people who knew her in there. All right. Why was it? Maybe Sam. Why? why uh, or Captain America. She. They both of them know Kamala. I just feel like no one was personally. Sam don't know Kamala. He was the I'm leader. Sorry, of her. I'm sorry. I thought you said Steve. Uh, why would Sam be there? Sam don't even live in New York. Oh, okay. I don't know. It just seemed like they didn't try hard enough to get anybody connected to this character. She died alone, essentially. And Carol's always in space. Yeah, Carol's always in space. That would have been. And plus, if she was in that situation, she probably would have mocked it up real quick. The and, point and is, Tony Stark is back on the West Coast, so it's like, bro, <laughs> it's like, what, what, what do you want? I want them to respect the character. Why take her if you're not going to do it right? And I get it. Maybe they shoved her into a book like, you got to do something with Miss Marvel. Okay, fine. Intern. You got to kill her. Okay, so I can give Zeb Wells a pass. All right? This is on Marvel. You suck, Marvel. Okay? Exactly. That's what I'm like saying. Yo, stop. The point is, this is a bad death. All right? The death sucks. Okay? And somebody needs to... Someone needs to has these role for this. I'm mad. All right? Someone sucks for this. Boo this man. Okay? Keep in mind, you've never bought a Miss Marvel comic book in the past. And not I have. Where? Go get it right now. Go get it. What? I mean, it's over there. Have your wife handed to you. She don't know where it is. And she's, she's watching she's watching Doctor Who right now. Leave her alone. Yeah, because it's in the world of non-existent Bill, right? I don't know what he's talking about. It's not. I have it. All right? Captain Crunch. You know, I could definitely... You're going to feel real bad when you find out that I bought it for my niece, who's a Girl Scout. Huh? So why do That's, you have it? You know what, Bernard? Don't, don't, don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Just a circle of lies. 
<laughs> I was going down the drain. The point is, I don't have to read. I don't have to own the comic to feel strong about the character, even though I do own it. Okay, but look, man. All <laughs> I'm saying is, people need to stop going after writers. You want to? You, you know what? These I'm, not saying, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. You know, no, Samir. You know what these people can do? You can literally write Marvel's an email. I believe the at the email address is info at marvel.com or something like that. Let me double check. Let me go to a Marvel comic and see what it is. All right. I'd rather just tweet angrily at them. The, okay. the issue is oh, here I'm it not, is. M Heroes at Marvel.com. That's where you want I'm to send your to, okay? I'm not saying attack the writer. Obviously not. I'm not condoning that kind of behavior. I'm Cause, saying cause you just cause you just jump down Zeb Webb's throat like five, ten minutes ago. Yeah, because I'm sorry. It's like, yo, the, the, they, they killed Cuban Smart in, in a terrible way. And by the way, he still could have did some, he still could have did thing on. Because keep in mind, like I said, Spider Man has had an editorial problem since like the late 2010s, mid to, no, late 2000s. So keep in mind, Amazing Spider Man, volume 18, written by Dre Michael Straczynski, art by Mike Diodato. Since past, that whole um, Gwen and Norman thing. Oh, you know, let me get into it. You know what? You know what? You know what? J. Michael Zizinski wanted to do. He wanted to make Peter the kid's fathers. I mean, he wanted to make uh, Peter's, uh, Peter the kid's dad. But you know what the editorial team said? No, because that's going to age Peter. Okay, screw it. I got to. There's it. plenty of people in, in various ages have kids. Like, well, I can't be young and have kids at the same time. Samir, keep in mind. These kids were fully grown when Peter they came age, across. They, uh, they, uh, they had accelerated aging, so it doesn't matter I how old Peter is. know they had accelerated aging, but it wouldn't have made sense for kids with spider powers to have accelerated aging because of, A, Earth, whatever it was, made a Parker, aged in normal time. Well, it also doesn't make sense for Quan Khan to be a... a, a I'm not done yet. Go on. Uh... The most controversial Marvel comic Spider-Man story in the past decade. You don't have to get it. So you know where I'm going. Where am I going? To get one more day? Yeah. J. Michael Straczynski wanted to kill Aunt May. And yeah, you know, and you, I agree with that. And, 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 you, and you know what Joe Casada said? Because he was the editor-in-chief. Break up the marriage mm-hmm. somehow. Make him make a deal with the devil to give up his marriage. So so terrible. Look, so I understand it's the editorial editors. Team. Like I said, it's editors. That was the main reason why you hated X Men books for the longest. Editors, okay, stop going after writers, people. Okay, you got a problem. I just sent, I just told you the email that you can send to Marvel M Heroes at Marvel So you raise a compelling argument. You're right. The book does suck, and it's the editor's fault. And then writers have to somehow figure out a way to make this make sense. Sometimes it's not going to make sense, and then people are going to get mad. Like I said, people have been sending this man death threats on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that's, out of, that's uncalled for. So I'm like, yo, just stop it, okay? Look, right. I'm tired. Even I, look. Look, Marvel, give Marvel your voice. It's like, yo, what? I mean, like how I got on here and I crapped on Marvel four weeks ago when we brought up that she was dying because they decided to give the story to Entertainment Weekly. And oh, another one that I forgot to bring up uh, Superman's death. That was on the news. But yeah. I think it was on the news after the fact. So it's like, yo, you know, your book can still sell because of word of mouth. But hey, you know, this 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 book sold out. Well, it's um, the information unless, unless, so everything's unless, faster. I get that, but unless you pre-ordered this book, you can't get it now. No, I because it's gonna be worth some money. Like I said, Spider-Man issue seven, first appearance of Spider-Boy. I had to order that because I couldn't get it at my local comic book store. So it's like, yo, at the end of the day, blame the editors, okay? Writers are just there to write. And it's like, yeah, they have to try to they have to try to make it make sense. But even then, guess what? The editors can go in there like, nope, we're gonna do it like this. Print it. That's what editors do. They proofread and they tweak it if they feel the need to. He still should have um uh knew more about the character. I just feel like he made a lot of um uh continuity mistakes with her character development. He made her shape shift, dude. She doesn't like shape shifting. I get that. She did it. It's done. Well, yeah, I know. It's, she did it. It's done. It's just like, what What more do you want? I want them not to disrupt the character. <sighs> you got any more to chime in there? Because like Birdman said, I ain't got no more talking. 
Well, I guess I'm done. I suppose. Like I said, the death of Miss Marvel will be out in July. So if you guys want to check that out, you can check that out. All right. Um, let's do a few stories and um, let me call it a wrap. So Netflix is doing their annual to dumb uh, festival. And that will be taking place in Brazil. So it will actually be on June 17th on YouTube. So you can see all the behind the scenes stuff of everything that's upcoming. So like stuff from Extraction 2. I believe they're also going to be showing the first actual trailer from One Piece. Uh, what? I almost said Wesley Snipes. God damn it. Arnold Schwarzenegger's Foo Bar. Um, and a few other things that I don't know about. And hopefully we get a trailer for They Clone Tyrone because I would like to see this soon. We've known about this movie for like a year and a half with uh, Jamie Foxx, um, John Boyega, and Tiona Paris. So can I get some more news on that? Because, I mean, keep in mind, um, I still haven't canceled my Netflix because Netflix, uh, I would like to get in touch with customer service because they need to give like one user uh, the option for 4K. Because, hey, I can't share my password anymore because now you guys are charging $7.99. I share my password for someone outside of my home. Hey, Netflix, why can't I get 4K if I'm just one user? I have to get a four-person subscription and pay $21 plus tax. Make it make sense. Samir, your sister kicked you off in her Netflix yet? No, I'm just going to pay her $7. Oh, okay. But yeah. Uh, what you got, man? Uh, so, w- what's your opinion of the Flash? Um, uh of Warner Brothers keeping the, um, Ezra Miller as the Flash. So, like, yeah, they're I, the only ones I, who can do the role right now. I saw that. Well, Warner Brothers didn't say that. Andy Muschietti said that. He was the Correct. director of the Flash. So, honestly, the way David Sazlav has been operating by taking you know a bunch of stuff off of um, Max now and scrapping the Batgirl movie and everything, I mean... The guy is possibly going to keep Ezra Miller around because he's like, yo, they're, you know, contracted for X, Y, Z amount of movies and we don't want to pay out that contract. So, you know, they might just be around for a while. Honestly, I really don't know how to feel about it because, yeah, we talked about all the crazy shit Ezra has done in the past year and some change. In the three years that we've been doing this podcast. Well, they have also said that they're going to get therapy and they're going to you know straighten up and so far we, they we haven't, haven't heard it. we haven't heard nothing right so maybe they 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 uh straightened out but at the very least on penalty of um of getting getting, fired. yeah basically um but yeah so i don't know i don't really know who else can play that role now because at this point ezra is tons in. Tons of people can play that I'm role. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. I never liked them. I never liked them for that role to begin with. I kind of just tolerated it. I didn't like the Joss Whedon cut. Uh, Snyder cut made it made sense more. A little. It was better. Yes. Because, you know, the stupid, you know. Dostoevsky. I was talking about, yeah, that and uh, Barry making jokes about, you know, being a skinny little Jewish boy. And Barry is Jewish. Yes, Ezra is, but Barry isn't. But, um... Yeah, so who knows where that movie's gonna go? I mean, we're obviously gonna have to talk about it when it comes out. I mean, depending on the reviews, but you know, I mean, I, rotten, I, hey, real talk, I have been excited for a, a Warner Brothers film and uh, one of those uh, DC film it, since this movie, so I'm probably gonna watch it. I mean, what was the last one? Oh yeah, Shazam. Uh, I, I wasn't excited for that. I though. know you weren't. Uh, and then Black Adam before that, but I mean, yeah, it'll be out in what two weeks. Or so, yeah, something like that. But yeah, so like I said, I really don't know. I say get rid of Ezra and just start from scratch. I mean, because this movie is some... okay. So, uh, Justice League: The Flashpoint Paradox basically did that. Uh, uh, did it? You know what? I mean, check. no, the well, Flash no, was the same. No, I know, I get that, but I'm like, did they change the voice actor like towards the end? No, That's... they didn't. You sure? I'm pretty sure. I'm looking real quick because I feel like, you know, it was somebody else and then um, Christopher Gorham came in. Like I said, I could be wrong. It is a possibility. Oh, that's what it was. It was Batman. So, uh, oh, yeah, because it was Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. No, not that. So Kevin Conroy, before Barry went back in time, was the voice of Batman. Then when they did 
you know, when, you know, the new 52 or whatever you want to call it, it was, uh, what's that guy's name? James um, Woods? No, not James Woods. He was in Justice League Doom and he was Owl Man. Um, let me look this up real quick. Batman Hush. That the first Will one. Will Arnett? No, Jason O'Mara. Oh. Yeah, so he was Batman at the end of the film. So yeah, it was just like, oh, just do it like that and call it a day. But yeah, so when Barry goes back and fixes everything right, you know, I don't know. Name a skinny white dude. It'd be Christopher Gorham. <laughs> From Jake 2.0. I don't know. Shit. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if Tom Cruise is saying this movie is good, it's got to be good. Oh, no. The, the movie's amazing. The movie At this point, all evidence points to this movie being one of the best movies of the year. It's just the DCEU is garbage. So, let's see what they can do. Yeah. All right. All right, we got a couple more stories. What do you got yeah. left? All right. So one that Samir decided to post, despite the fact that I had already posted it because Samir doesn't read the chat before we just drop stuff in. I was having internet problems. I didn't see your post. Prove it. Hmm? Hmm? Shut up. So Amy Pascal, who is the producer of all Spider-Man things at Sony, has actually teased that a live action Miles Morales film is coming and that an animated Spider-Woman film is all going to happen as well. As well I'm as... for it a fourth Tom Holland Spider-Man film. So, um, yeah, so Amy said the Spider-Man uh, live-action Miles Morales and the animated Spider-Woman movies are in the works, and she said you'll see all of it. Uh, and this was at the premiere for Across the Spider-Verse. Abby Arras said that we will see a Spider-Woman movie sooner than you think. But, uh, yeah, they said they were actually in the process of getting ready to start uh, uh, on the for Spider-Man film, but due to the writer strike, nobody is working at the time, so they're being supporters and whatever. Um, and whenever they get themselves together, they'll get it all started. But yeah, so I can't wait to see a live-action Miles Morales uh, film. I actually saw was it on Reddit? I think it was on Reddit. Uh, they said like I can't remember the other person, but they said Miles Brown from uh, Blackish. Okay, because uh, he's like nineteen at the moment. I can't remember the other kid. Damn, I feel bad, but yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Um, so this animated Spider Woman movie, who you rooting for? I mean, I it's like it's animated. Yeah. I mean, if it's animated, I thought they were going to do uh, just Haley Steinfeld. Or Issa Rae. She's in it. She's in it. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm just saying. So, I so thought, here, pick, pick your cards right. You're going white or you're going black. You're going to have Dr. Umar looking at you now. I, I wanted to do, I mean, Jessica Drew is great and all, but I I, I want to do Gwen Stacy Spider-Man, Spider-Woman. I, I mean, that character single-handedly resurrected what they did to the other Gwen Stacy. Like, not everyone likes Gwen Stacy because of this one. No one liked Gwen Stacy before this. Before her. Love Gwen Stacy, what are you talking about? Not after what, not after what that happened with that. Nah, that was her character. Her name was in the dirt. You know it. Oh, you saw about the Norman thing. It's retcon. It, it don't matter. All right, it's retcon because of Gwen Stacy. No, it's not. It's yeah, they like, worked on that, but they worked on that after she came out. Yeah, but it's not because of Gwen Stacy. Yeah, it is. No, they had to clean not. up her image. They had to clean up her image. So not, not that there's anything wrong with sleeping with older men. It's just that older guy. Okay, I'm like, damn. And you know, and you know that Norman going to bed with the do rag at the waist. You know he was getting the back. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> 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 Yo! <laughs> I hate you, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like, yo. <laughs> Alright, that was just that was just not necessary how they Why can't I get Norman Osborne ways, man? 
<laughs> Saying my dog got the going to sit with the do rag. <laughs> oh, oh, that's your dog. <laughs> I mean, no, he's not after that guy. But <laughs> um, oh man, <sighs> I just say, look, all right. Uh, where were we with the uh? Yeah, that okay. Was, that was pretty much it, so... All right, I'm just saying I would prefer to see uh, Gwen Stacy Spider-Woman. That's all I'm saying. I, I want more of her character. That's it. I can't get enough of her. All right. Um, I don't know. Oh, so... um, Well, uh, well we're on the, the... I mean, we're pretty much at the launch of Diablo um, 4. It yeah, comes out I, next I, Tuesday. Yeah, but I heard the advanced um, access has been kind of glitchy. Um, I haven't heard much yet. I think the server load is actually pretty good from what I've understood uh, so I saw far. On Reddit. I was in the uh, gaming subreddit and like some people couldn't even access it. They're like, yeah, All right. So that might be it. Yeah, Hopefully they, they fix that for the while. And I was like, not looking good. Can you, ma- can you imagine paying an extra to play the game early and you can't play the game early? That is so devastating. Yeah, I would be pissed. But yeah, um, you know how I feel about Diablo and anything. But yeah, so Diablo right. 4 coming out. Well, there's a couple other things about it because they also talked about the monetization. So <clears throat> they actually, the microtransactions leaked um, uh, recently, like, yeah. like everything else does. I saw that. So tell the people, Samir. I'm about to. I'm pulling it up right now. Why you ain't already have a pull up? Because now you just not talking, talking about... in dead air. So that's why I'm like, bro. Get, get anyway, all right. Details. So, so the it, it's it's bizarre. Some of these choices, right? Now, granted, this is all optional. This is all cosmetic. This has nothing to do with gameplay. But it's it's expensive. So to get a um, apparently some of the outfit uh, cosmetic outfits in the in the uh, and the appearances can be upwards to like $25 for one purchase. Like what the frick? And the issue with the, uh, the uh, price shop is the, um, the currency um, model, right? Like mm-hmm. it's hard to get a, it's hard to get a set amount. So if you spend like $30, you don't get a full, you get like 28 and you need like 30 to buy something. So you have to buy more. So it's predatory that way. You yeah. know? That's why I am very anti micro. Yeah, so a cosmetic armor set on on in Diablo. Okay, so this is Diablo Moro. So you know, that's I guess they're, they're liking it to that, but I don't necessarily think that's fair. But Diablo Moro is a huge offender of this. Mm. So hopefully they fix this cash shop and it's not as wonky as it is with Diablo Four. I mean Diablo Moro. But right now it's looking like. Uh, We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But other than that, the game is amazing. It's getting great reviews so far. It's sitting at like an 89% on, on Metacritic. Let me double uh, fact check that real quick and see what it's, what it's at. Um, 87 currently based on um, 48 reviews. So it's, it's getting great reviews so far. And um, I'm about to start playing it. So I'll let y'all know how it, um, how it is when I play it on Tuesday. Okay. Oh, the Boogeyman's not getting great reviews, though. I kind of want to see that. Well, sorry about that. So, <clears throat> oh, but you know, it's getting good reviews. Uh, Spider Man, um, uh, it's certified fresh, dude. Yeah, across the Spider Man. Yeah, it, it's it's very it's fairly highly. Um, uh, it's a Metacritic must see, and on Rotten Tomatoes, it's um, it's ninety five, ninety five. Yeah, based on how many reviews? Uh, 100. based on one hundred and fifty nine reviews. So, yikes! That's 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 just god dang impressive. Um, we didn't get a chance to talk about it last week, but we got to give a congratulations to Ming Na Wen, who everyone may know from a very widely received television series, Agents of Shield. She actually received. Was it her- though? Look, you shut up, just because Kevin. I mean, I, okay, so it's funny. So she's a part of a very widely re- well received TV show. You mean ER? She was on ER. Yes. Didn't know that. That's that's what got her. That's what kind of blew her up, actually. Uh, Okay, I was just doing that to get a rise out of you. I was going to see if you were going to say uh, the Mandalorian or the Book of Boba Fett or even. No, nah, I was going to say ER. That's what put her on the map. Or Mulan. Uh, but yeah, so she received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame this past week on uh, May thirtieth. 
So, yeah, we got to give congratulations to her. Like 54 and still looking fine. Shitting on all y'all getting these BBLs and stuff. I mean, I wouldn't disparage people who get plastic surgery and cosmetic surgery, sir. Uh, it's it's giving I mean, it's giving incel energy. Well, the reason why I went uh, because uh, I mean, you don't watch Wild now, so you probably have no idea who the hell DC Young Fly is. Who? Exactly. Uh, his wife just actually passed away from a cosmetic uh, procedure. So is it worth uh, it in the end? Yeah, it is. If you go to an actual she good did. doctor, she did. Did in she? Miami. Yeah, in Miami. There's bad doctors in Miami. I mean, I mean, it's not like she went over to like Columbia and you know skimmed on it. Yeah, but it, actually, there is a there's a doctor called the Butcher of South Beach. So you get, he's a documentary about him. How many people he screwed over? Mm, but he's probably that's in, in that's in South Beach, Miami. But he's probably in jail now, right? They probably eventually caught up to him, but it took a while. Like he botched a lot of people up. I mean, they probably weren't talking. You gotta remember, Samir. If you talk, word of mouth. The is, point is, is the point is, if you get medicine, medicine surgery is risky, no matter what. I don't know what happened here. Maybe she had a pre-existing condition. I don't know. I didn't. I don't. I didn't read the situation. I don't know, but a lot of people are also starting to regret getting their plastic surgery, like uh, Cardi B. Uh, I think Lil Kim said so as well. But bro, we what, if, what does Cardi B regret? Getting the ass shots. Oh, just pulled them out. She don't know what's in her body. She went to like some uh, basement. They were doing it in basements in Brooklyn. Oh, well, I see that again. There you go. So you, you, you can't say that. Dude. You can't do that. Plastic surgery with a accredited, actual licensed doctor in a sterile environment is not the same as going under some basement. For that matter, oh, yeah, I don't trust dentists. Dentistry is a bad profession because I'm going to a basement to get my teeth looked at. I don't know, man. You might be skimming on some money. You know, you're going to go see Dr. Giggles. Right. And then you get your, you get, you have a, a, a staff infection in your gum. Yeah, that's not. That's not dentistry's fault. That's not the industry's fault. That's where you got it. Two things can be true. Yeah, in this case, though, Cardi B, if she went to a, a, a lesser, you know, place to get her, her procedure done, that's not that's not the industry's fault. Anyways, why so why someone chooses plastic surgery, I don't think that's something you should criticize. Just saying. All right. There's a lot of good that can happen in that in that profession also. There's reconstructive surgery, there's uh Gender affirming uh, surgery you can do. So it's like to say that plastic surgery is bad. I mean, that's that's very short sighted. I didn't say it was bad. I just said I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, but why? I mean, it's like again, it's just it's a weird stance to have when uh, when men say I don't like women who have plastic surgery. You want to date a date of ten, but when you get I've mad, we find I, out. I never said I want to date a date of ten. Yeah, but a lot of guys want to date tens, but they get mad when they find out they find out what the ten they're dating. Yeah, had, had had work done. Yeah, it's gonna be like that situation with that guy in China. They get married, they have a baby, baby come out ugly. Then he found out his wife got plastic surgery, he got divorced, and sued her for emotional distress. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny because uh, it's funny you mentioned that because China, the people of the public of China is very patriarchal, and they often um, have rulings like that. It's, it's very very bizarre over there. Yeah. Um, Let's just knock some small stories out the way. So this is actually one Samir posted in the chat like a week ago, but we had Chris on, so we kind of segued off of stories and just went on nerd shit. Uh, Samir is going to be very, well, I'm pretty sure Samir was disappointed and heartbroken. The live-action Powerpuff uh, series is no longer in development. Oh, yeah. That yeah. sucks. So this is done, and... Uh, Diggles Just As You, which was supposed to be another, uh, this was actually supposed to be the last standing arrow versus spinoff. It's no longer in development. Why do they think, can Diggle, do you, okay, as a fan, do you think Diggle could actually ha- hold the show on his own? Okay, so the, the the whole plot of this show, from what I recall, was Diggle was supposed to be basically training a new team. So it was basically still going to be Kind of like Arrow, but it was going to be focused on Diggle, his life, and him training a new team and right. everything. David, and he can I stand on like, his own? I feel like David Ramsey can actually <clears throat> stand on his own. No, as an actor, he could. The character. No, I'm talking about, the, I mean, Diggle. Diggle can stand on his own. A lot, a lot of people stopped watching Arrow for Oliver and started watching it for Diggle. Especially, like, his whole character arc. Like, um... 
they were like hinting at him being a Green Lantern and everything. Like when the series finale, because he was supposed to. He was supposed to be to be like an allegory for John Stewart, but I don't think they could use. Lame. John I don't think they could use John Stewart at the time. So, like he literally. That's so lame. Samir. Once yes, again, but not. You got to blame Warner Brothers Television. This is the same reason why we ain't have a Batman on TV since goddamn 1966. Lame. But so yeah, um, he actually rejected whatever. Like it was like a it was something green, and he had it in the box. It was like on some post kitchen shit. Like, dumb. you know, you open it and you know, you don't yeah, see I know. what it is, but you see That's the light. <laughs> and he rejected it and they're like, yeah. But yeah, so unfortunately, neither one of those shows will be going forward due to the uh, next star acquisition of the CW. Bro, honestly, the CW is dead. Only thing they got left for me is Walker and Superman and Lois. And even then, yeah, still, Riverdale's still ending soon, right? This is the last season of Riverdale. Like back in yeah. the 50s, I'm like, do I even want to keep watching? Because, like, bro, honestly, I loved Riverdale. And I always had my moments where I was like, okay, I'm going to jump out. And they did the seven-year time jump where everybody was finally an adult. And now they're back in the 50s. And it's like Digest Archie comics. I'm like, do I really give a shit about this? Because they had like this whole, remember I told you everybody had superpowers and they had like this whole Avengers in game situation and yeah. and uh, Cheryl was on like some Scarlet Witch shit and like preventing a meteor from hitting Riverdale and like it sent them back to the 50s and the only one who could remember was Jughead. And then Is Cal- Close Bruce still on the show? Sprouse. Sprouse. Why is it so hard for you to remember people's names, Samir? You always messing up somebody's name in some way, shape, or form. I don't know what you're talking about. Bro, you call Michael, you call Michael Rosenbaum Michael Rappaport. I didn't do any of this. Yes, you did. It's on like episode eight or nine. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, man, Michael Rappaport was good on Smallville. <laughs> but yes, Cole Sprouse is still on the show. But um, you got any small stories you just want to? Get out uh, we, let's go ahead and do a wrap up real quick. Let's see. Um, oh, Nicholas Cage is going to be a playable character in Dead by Daylight. Why? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I uh, haven't played <clears> the <throat> game in forever. So, okay. Sure. All right. Well, the gravy train keeps coming for Super Mario Brothers. Uh, Super Mario Brothers becomes the second highest grossing animated film of all time. It's like, yo, this movie is just not stopping. I mean, yo, we were waiting for a good Super Mario Brothers movie for what? 30 years? When the hell did the first, the original one come out? 93? Was it 30 years? I'm looking this up real quick. Something like that. Also, another story. Uh, Kumail Nanjiani and Mandy Moore, um, that's some strange uh, you know, cast. Uh, well, you see those two together. Um, they've been cast in the Insidious spinoff uh, Thread, A Insidious Tale, with Jeremy Slater set to do, uh, produce. I'm sorry, set to direct. direct. So that's coming. Yeah, that movie is 30 years old. It came out May 28th, 1993. <clears throat> um, I know the name Jeremy Slater from something. Uh, I don't fuck with the Insidious movies. Oh, we're apparently getting a sequel to the Rac- uh, Welcome to Raccoon City, so yay for oh, that. Oh, that's where I know Jeremy Slater from. He wrote on Moon Knight. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I think we brought him up before. This guy does have a few, uh, he's got like hits and misses. So, <clears throat> hits, Moon Knight, uh, The Umbrella Academy, oh. Pet, uh, very good psychological thriller. If you haven't seen it, it's got Dominic Monaghan in it. Um, misses, are you ready? The Lazarus Effect, mm. Van Forstick, Death Note. Ooh. Uh, the next Mortal Kombat movie. <laughs> oh, he did, also did he, he, do, did he do the first? No, nah. uh, he also. Oh, never mind. That's what that is. So yeah, that's what that is. Thread in the city is tell in uh, Godzilla uh, Kong: The New Empire, which is coming out. No, it's uh, apparently came out already. Uh, wait, is it animated? Mind. No, never mind. It's next year. Why the hell did this say? Oh, it says 2024. My bad. I can't read. <laughs> but yeah. So, ooh, it's apples and oranges, man. Just got to pick what you're going to go with. Oh, uh, oh another movie, uh, other movie news. Um, 
Terrifier 3 will be released in late 2024. Filming will begin later this year with a budget increase to the low mid seven figure range. So, uh, Loco watched the first one or the second one. I think he watched all three because All Hallows Eve as well. No, the, the prequel. It's like, what is All Hallows Eve or something like that? Where you I first... don't think it has a prequel. Terrifier? Yes, it does. Yeah. You didn't know about this? I don't, I don't like horror movies like this and you know that's your you know bag it's on prime and everything hang on let me dude the film series only has one and two all hollows eve oh anthology. here it is here it is okay yes. oh i see yeah it's, it serves as a prequel but um which one did um he cut the head off the lady and then the lady had a baby and it was him or something like that was that the second one yeah yeah loco said that was stupid <laughs> Well, the movie, was, I mean, the movie knew what it was. And I thought the, its execution and its, uh, but, and its but, scope was really good. Yeah, but I think it was the fact that they were seeing that people were vomiting in the theater and on the verge of having heart attacks. There were some very visceral death scenes in that movie. Yeah, I just I just feel like, you know, it was a lot of uh, capola, as they say. But yeah, no one wants to, no one gives a shit about the, uh, the, Welcome to Raccoon City sequel. No one saw the uh, Welcome to Raccoon City. And I think I was going to watch it because my boy Robbie Amell is in it. Why? Oh, so another uh, cool thing. Okay, so uh, Grand Theft Auto 6, GTA 6, is coming out. And it's rumored to feature a dynamic hair growth system that allows a character to grow hair and beards over time without needing to visit a barbershop. Yeah, why would you even bring that up? I can't even post that no more because Rock City said, no, no, no. Take that shit off take that shit off Twitter. That means it's true. <laughs> yeah, could be. But um I'm o i am I think I'm over Grand Theft Auto, dude. I still haven't beat five. I bought it three times, once on the PS3, twice on the PS4. Um so yeah. I really don't care. I think I'm done with Rockstar games in general. That's a weird sense to say. They make other games. I get that, and I still haven't started Red Dead Redemption 2. That's your fault, not Red Dead Redemption. I've had that game for like eight years. There's nothing that's as compelling me to play that game, is all I'm saying. Do you have said against Cowboys? No. I bought the game, Samir. I just haven't hey, started it. That's because have... you got bad time management. Sir, my time management is a whole lot better than yours, okay? Not true. Shit. You, okay, how many comics have you read this week? Uh, manga? No, American. Why you gotta say it like that? None. Yeah, because you're behind on those. You know, you know what comics I read today? I mean, this week? I finished John Ridley's run on Black Panther, how we were talking about what T'Challa did and all the lies he had with sleeper ages and everything going on with Storm. Sure. He is exiled from Wakanda now. Well, he sucks. <laughs> the Avengers don't even rock with him. T'Challa is the Black Peter Parker right now. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Sasha Kelly, uh actually reached out to Henry Cavill uh, for his blessing after filming The Flash, and, you know, he gave it to her. So, you know, nice to know that there's no bad blood there. I mean, I'll go... Why would he have bad blood with her? I was just about to say that. Although, if there was, there shouldn't be any bad blood with her. She's just someone who got a job. So, don't blame her. Um, Deborah Chow has confirmed that a second season of Obi-Wan Kenobi has not been planned, and she said this was conceived as a limited series. It is closed, so... Looks but like, never say never, though. Yeah. I mean, that's what um, I'm going to say Anakin Skywalker. Uh, you, you and McGregor said, yeah, he said he's down for another one. But, you know, that just really depends on them. Uh, Deadpool 3 has not shut down production because of the writer's strike. But Ryan Reynolds will not be allowed to improv like he did on Deadpool 1 and 2 because he is a part of, a, of the Writers Guild of America. And in doing so, he would be violating the rules of the strike. So he can still... Do what is written, but other than that, no. You got any more news, or we can just go ahead and call it? Nah, we can uh, go ahead and wrap. Oh, two things that Samir posted but didn't talk about. Adeline Rudolph has been cast as Katana in Mortal Kombat 2, and uh, Tati Gabriel has been cast as Jade. All right, all right, all right. You have, like, that's that's just the look, like, right there. Okay, that's the one good thing so far. 
the the two cast they look they look great. Hopefully they're good in their costume, but I can't in good conscience think they're gonna look those characters are gonna do anything. This is gonna get dog walked like they did last time. <laughs> I mean Hopefully we get a new director and everything. It can't they can't think that's a wreck on everything. The way the way that first movie was written was just it, it, it you can't fix it. They 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 screwed the lore up. I feel like I've seen Adeline Rudolph in something before, but she doesn't have a Wikipedia page. Oh, she was in the Resident Evil show, and apparently she was also in the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina with Tati uh, Gabriel. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, uh, who the hell she played? Oh, she was Agatha. Don't remember, but she will also be in Hang uh, Hellboy: The Crooked Man. So yeah, guys, I think we're gonna call it a wrap. So this is Bernard, aka the Scarlet Spider, and this is Samir, the King in Black. And we are the Angry Blurred Podcast. Join us next time. Same Blurred Channel, same Blurred Network. Uh, two bits of Spider uh, across the Spider Verse news that came out like earlier this week, and one disappointed me. Uh, ben Riley has been confirmed to be voiced by Andy Samberg. Yeah, why does that? I'm sorry. What is your beef with that man? Samir, I don't have any beef with Andy Samberg. It's you just do. That, no, I don't. Because he's I not am, cool enough to play Ben Riley for you. Exactly. That's what it is. I ain't got no beef with him. Andy I, Samberg is cool enough. I, I love The Lonely Island. I love Brooklyn Nine Nine. I love Daddy's Boy. Shoot, Daddy's Boy is on the shelf. I bought that movie because of Andy Samberg, not Adam Sandler. Um, but yeah, I just don't feel. I, I don't wait. Let the man work. Let the man cook. Damn. It's like he might be amazing in that voice role, but you think, oh, you only see Jake Peralta from Brooklyn Nine Nine. He's a goofy clown. He can't be cool, Ben Riley, even though it's voice work. Man, Ben Riley sucks. See, everyone knows it. Oh, you, you are going to stop it. And speaking of Ben Riley, Hot Topic has actually released a Ben Riley hoodie. So I will be getting the Scarlet Spider hoodie. No sleeves, just a hood. Spider at 45 degrees. Let's go, baby. But yeah, yeah uh, look, man, leave me alone, okay? I don't, I don't get a lot, okay? But let me have this. And uh, Amanda Lustenberg has also been confirmed to be uh, Spider Bot. Yeah. So that was the other one. So yeah, guys, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. We will see you next week with our spoiler-filled review of Across the Spider Verse. Uh, no review for the Little Mermaid. Nope. All right, so I. Yes, no review for the little I did enjoy it. Go see it, y'all. Um, we're going to try to get Ryan to come on next week. Um, she has some personal issues come up this week, so hopefully she can come on next week. Uh, we're, we're, we'll try to figure something out, guys. So we will see you next week. Samir, tell the people goodbye. Live long and prosper, and may the force be with you. So you're just going to get sued by George Lucas, Gene Roddenberry, Disney. He's dead. I'm sorry, George, George uh, Gene Roddenberry's estate. So you're getting sued by Gene Roddenberry's estate, George Lucas, Disney, Paramount, Lucasfilm, and it's all. I those. mean, I, I mean, you can sue the Young Blurs. I don't know what you're gonna get. No, they gonna sue your ass. I ain't no Angry to Blurs. Nope, sue Samir Shahid. I'm sorry, but I was one. I'm one half of the Angry Blurs podcast. All right, so you have to sue the podcast. I don't do that. Why you dragging me into your shit? Like, you trying to get The Rock to beat me up, too? That's, that's business, buddy. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, in business, there are individuals. There are shareholders, sir. Yes, there's a, we are shareholders, okay? But, yeah, guys, we'll see you next week.